All right, baseball fans, it is past midnight here on the East Coast. Got myself another blaster box of 2024 Tops Baseball Series 1. Let's see what we can find here. Miggy got uh, last year home run leaders. Now, Matt Olson got off to a horrific start, but last week he was very productive at the plate. Kyle Schwarber, he's never really going to hit for average, but he works the count, gets on base, and hits home runs. And Polar Bear, he's among the league leaders in home runs as well. Yankees, they are red hot. And a big part of that is because this this man right here, Aaron Judge, who has been tearing it up. Quinn Priester, Freddie Freeman, and Pete Alonzo. Freddie Freeman had a grand slam. Right now, at the time of this recording, the Dodgers are up against the D-backs. All right, Easter Parallel, we got uh, Chris Murphy, rookie card. Curtis Mead, Esteuri Ruiz, a Correa shower. The Twins, they got beat down by the Nats earlier today. Emmanuel Class A, one of the top relievers in the game. Alex Bregman, Paul Goldschmidt, the Cardinals, they have won six out of, out of their last ten. And Goldie is, has been hitting better as of late. Coco Montez got here a Corbin Carroll. El Bob, will he or won't he return uh, before the end of the season? And Bobby Witt Jr., the Royals, they continue to win, and they are now at 30 wins. Ranger Suarez, Anthony Volpe, Kyle Bradish, got here a uh, Christian Encarnacion Strand. The Reds, one of the worst teams uh, in the National League, and uh, CES is out of the lineup at the moment. He is nursing an injury. Sal Freelich and Randy Rosarina. Did you know there's only five teams in the National League that are above 500 at the moment? Got here a Seth Brown, another Easter parallel. Logan O'Hoppy, he had a big day at the plate. Angels won yesterday. Elites of the game, now they're teammates and they are both raking. Sal Freelich. Dodgers with a healthy lead. In the NL West, Zach Geloff. J-Rod, the batting average is starting to tick up a bit. He's in the 270s, but the home run total is still kind of weak. You saw Jacob Amaya there. Marlins have won six out of their last ten, playing a little bit better. But still, their record is terrible. Uh, Tariq Skubal, one of the best pitchers in the American League. Rowdy Teles, Luis Matos. Welcome to the, to the Luis Matos show. He has been hitting out of this world. Um, unfortunately, he plays for one of those smaller market teams, but uh, he has gotten off to a great start to his MLB career. Andy Ibanez. Joey Weimer. Brandon Nimmo. Blue Border Parallel. Color match. Very nice. Corbin Carroll. And Yenier Cano. Another Easter parallel coming up. Ooh, this one with the bunnies. Wish it was a better player, though. Luis Castillo. Vladdy Jr. Bobby Witt Jr. Mookie Betts and Willie Castro. Final pack. Brady Singer. 
Zach Gallen, Patrick Wisdom, Glaber Torres, D backs, Zach Geloff once again, Ryan O'Hearn, home run challenge, Matt Olson. Like I said before, he is starting to hit much better. I don't know if he'll get to 54 home runs like he did last year, but uh, the Braves, they're just kind of coasting along. You know, they've been playing 500 ball as of late. As of right now, though, they still have that first wild card spot in the National League. Pete Crow Armstrong and Patrick Bailey. And that is it for this baseball rip. I was lucky enough to pull the oh so rare bunny parallel. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and have yourselves a terrific Tuesday.